<sighs> All right, everybody, so today is Tuesday, May 8th. Uh, it's the week going into the show. As you saw in the previous video, I was doing a carb deplete from Cinco de Mayo uh, through today. Uh, I'm not gonna lie right now, I am mentally struggling big time. I do not want to be doing this right now. I am really tired. My energy level sucks. Um, I'm doing everything with clean high rep just to stay safe for the rest of this week because I don't want to cause an injury or get a flame shoulder, hip, or knee type of deal. Um, that way I can pose properly on Saturday. So. I'm going to keep myself motivated to do this cardio. I figure I'll talk to you and waste some time. Um, I'm actually riding the bike. I figure I'll save my legs. I hate, I hate cardio. I really don't. I just hate it. But I'm just in a mental funk. It's typical during prep. This is the suck that I'm talking about. Um, I might, hey, listen, this is not just choice. I chose to do it. So I'm not looking for any pity or sympathy. At all. I was actually talking to somebody the other day and I was saying, you know, it's kind of funny that this lifestyle, a lot of people think they're hardcore or they want the good old uh, pat on the back because they stuck to a diet or, you know, dropped some weight for 16 to 20 weeks or 30 weeks and they, they want all this credit like there's some hardcore and they're disciplined and sacrifice and all this bullshit that they like to give themselves credit for. And here's my opinion, guys. Like, I chose to do this, right? So, I'm not hardcore. I didn't make any sacrifices, it's something I chose to do. And what I was saying was like, I have more respect for the people in the armed forces, uh, men and women who like, sacrifice their lives, who put themselves in the danger, have bullets and bombs uh, shot at them. And for people who don't really respect what they do, so dumbasses like myself can sit here, <laughs> talk about how hardcore we are, because we dropped some body fat while maintaining muscle. So, I just wanted to put that out there. And on top of that, you know, I just wanted to talk about where a lot of people, you know, go wrong is that they need to understand that along any fitness journey, good, good days, bad days, all kinds of days in between, and what you need to do is just be consistent. Not perfect, um, but consistent where you know you have a good idea of what your calories are, what your macros are, what your daily intake is, being truly honest throughout the process of how closely you're sticking to your plan and understanding that with life there is no such thing as the perfect time. Life will always throw you challenges, uh, roadblocks, people around you will help you build up the excuses that you want to hear um, to make you feel better. And the reality is you gotta learn how to tune a lot of that stuff out and focus and follow the plan. And every plan is not set in stone, but you should follow as close as possible and make adjustments as needed. And if you do that over a course of time, six months, a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, 10 years, you'll reach your goals one way or another, whether that's you know, fitness goals, financial goals, material um, gain, um, you know, whatever it is, you just kind of have to tune everything else out, make the adjustments as needed, and stick to the plan. So, this vlog is just going to be one long rambling, starting today, all the way to show day. Just kind of like where my mind is at. So, what I've been doing a lot of is just listening to motivational speeches, um, things that talk about hard work, uh, sacrifice, really being honest with yourself, never quitting, um, all those type of things. Now, I'm not using it for like hype or anything, but it's just to keep the negative thoughts that I'm feeling from taking over my brain right now and trying to set up momentum to carry into the show. Um, I know for a fact, no matter what happens, I've brought my best. I'll have no excuses at the end. If I lose, I lose, but it's just that I want to keep a positive mindset all the way in because that translates both with these last couple days going into the show, it'll translate in the body posture, it'll translate in my posing down the line, 
but if I don't believe I can win, I'm already lost. Um, and I will not admit defeat. I will not quit. I will not accept anybody else being better than me. I won't even put that thought in my head. Um, and we're just going to go from there, guys. All right, I'm about uh, 13 minutes in. I've got seven minutes more on the bike. I've got the level up to a nine, so I'm not just cruising here and giving myself a little bit of a challenge, you know. But I'm still going with some BCAs. I'm doing this. I'm going to have a shake and a rice cake after. I feel like that guy fish and a rice cake. But <laughs> my carbs are kind of low, so that's all I have. And uh, I hope you really enjoyed this journey, guys. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed all the progress, the thoughts, the discussions of macros, everything that went along the way. I want to thank ahead of time everybody that helped me out here. Um, you know, my wife who wasn't sure if I should do this right now, but fully supported me doing it, has been behind me 100%. To all my buddies who've been kicking my ass and giving me the boost I need to keep on moving. Um, to my uh, massage therapist, uh, Jim, dude, kept me mobile, agile, hostile. Without you, I don't even know if I could, uh, I don't even know if I'd be in the condition that I'm in right now. So, to my son, one of these days you'll see this video, buddy. I know you're not, it's gonna be a while before you ever see dad's video, but I did this for you. I want you to understand that hard work pays off. You can get to something. You don't need to cut corners at all. And uh, I just look forward to you growing up. Hopefully be positive bro model. Alright guys. Keep on watching. What's going on everybody? So May 9th. Got up this morning after the carb deplete on uh, Tuesday, May 8th, that I did Saturday through Tuesday. Uh, I was down to 168 and a half this morning. That's by far the lightest I've ever been. And I was definitely flat as a pancake. Uh, <laughs> pretty bad. I don't think I've been in the 160s since the end of high school. So it's been quite some time. So we decided to proceed forth with the um, higher carb refeed today. Going for 250 grams worth of carbs. We lowered protein to 200. Fat hanging around 48. We also up salt intake from around 21 to 2200 milligrams up to around 2,500 milligrams today. Um, we also brought creatine back in, um, not because I need to get rid of water or anything like that, or was worried about water retention. I guess just to resensitize my system a little bit. So, you know, now I'm gonna be back on creatine every day, five grams a day, no cardio. Um, honestly, my energy level is a lot better. Like I feel more human for sure. It felt really good this morning to take in a full cup of oats with, you know, full two tablespoons of peanut butter and like a banana and I had my egg whites and right after that meal I felt so much better I don't know if it's just because I knew I was getting carbs or it's because I am getting carbs whatever it felt really really good from there I went to um, my massage therapist this morning got the last deep tissue done to help you know break up the muscles and keep things as separated as possible um, got a quick little workout in today for back um, basically all cable and machine stuff light probably about around a six and a half seven difficulty um, just you know 12 to 15 reps focusing on squeezing the muscle getting some blood in there getting a pump uh, but nothing heavy strenuous we don't want to inflame a shoulder or an elbow or a knee or fatigue myself to the point where on Saturday I won't be able to pose right um, in fact this morning I even woke up this right shoulder has actually been good for about a week week and a half um, was really tender this morning I don't know why and eventually I'm gonna be getting that checked out via MRI in the near future here just to see if it's just some sort of arthritis or you know, I may have slept on it funny obviously which is triggering it but I just want to make sure there's not something structurally wrong or something about to be structurally wrong with the shoulder um, pec and everything feels fine but like right in the crease of the shoulder I don't know if it's rotator cuff related or related to that bench that I did years ago where I had that shoulder issue, whatever the case may be. But I want to make sure I get it looked at and taken care of one way or another so at least I know what, what the issue is. Um, officially now three days out. So tomorrow 
I'm gonna do uh, another quick workout, just hit some chest, shoulders, triceps. Um, get, once again, get a pump in. We're gonna see if and where, like what we're gonna do with carbohydrates. So I have to weigh in first thing in the morning and then decide you know, how, how, how much carbohydrate we're gonna put in. I, I'll be honest, based on the projection, I'm nervous. Um, I tend to spill over very, very easily with carbohydrate. So we're shooting for like a th around 300 tomorrow, I think. Um, that makes me nervous because if I spill over, it takes me about two or three days to really burn that glycogen off. Uh, and the last thing I want to do here is, you know, do all this hard work and look great and then come in looking like crap at the show um, because I over, over carved up. So I'm going to weigh in tomorrow morning, see what happens with my weight. My guess is I'll probably be like 170. If not, if I'm still below 170, by all means, awesome. If I'm lighter than 168 and a half, maybe even better, I don't know. But um, it does make me nervous to exceed the 300 gram carbohydrate mark because like I said, my body does tend to retain the glycogen and it takes two days for me to, to burn it off, which will kind of put me in a tough spot on Saturday if that's the case. Um, good news is for the show, I did get confirmation that I will be going on first. So the show starts at 12. That means I literally get to get up, put a little bit of carbohydrate in myself, do a quick pump up session, get there, check in, um, get myself ready to tan up and everything else. Literally hit the stage at 12, do my comparisons. I'll take this. Hold on, guys. Hey, babe. Not much. I was letting you know I was on my way home. All right. Everything okay? All right. I just got in the parkway, so I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. All right, everyone. Sorry, I had to take that call. But um, as I was saying, that uh, I get to pretty much carb up, pump up, hit the stage right away, go through my mandatories. Um, go through my posing routine and then I just get to relax the rest of the day and then uh, I'm guessing about 4 35 o'clock probably closer to 5 get my you know find out where I placed and then I'm gonna go eat and if you're wondering what I'm gonna go eat I'm actually gonna go to Burger 25 in Tom's River um, it's a place I've been seeing now on social media for quite a while and it looks interesting I'm going to get a burger and a milkshake um, no I don't care about macros at that point and then I'm gonna go back on my you know, my diet the next day um, it's not a cheap meal, it's not anything. It's just I do this after every show. I have a little bit of, you know, I just have some fun where I'm not tracking anything. Uh, I'm not gonna binge my face off or eat like a pig or gorge. I'm just gonna have that one meal. Enjoy some time with some friends and family, whoever comes out, and then I'm gonna go home and go to sleep and then enjoy the rest of my weekend and start my work day again on Monday. Um, that's about it, guys. So I'll give you another update tomorrow as to what's going on. So let's see how it goes. Three days. All right. Bye. So, guys, two days out. It is Thursday morning. <clears throat> Just hit up my coach, let him know what my weight and everything was, sent him progress pictures. So, after the 250 gram carb refeed yesterday with the salt of uh, around 2,500 milligrams. <clears throat> I went from 168.5 to 169, so my body barely budged, which is good. Um, but at the same time, you know, I filled out a little bit. You know, I didn't spill over or anything like that. Uh, I do still feel uncomfortable going above 300 grams, so I messaged my coach with the progress pictures, kind of gave him my, my take on things. And same as uh, myself, he agrees that we're going to not overshoot and stretch for the 300. We're going to stick in the 200s again today with the ability to cut carbs down tomorrow and then always carb up more on Saturday if needed. The only difference is we're gonna up sodium probably to around 300,000, not 300,000, 3,000 milligrams today. And instead of doing the five grams of creatine, we're gonna go up to 10 grams of creatine. Um, I actually feel much better today in just in terms of energy levels. I feel way more human, which is to be expected now that I have some more muscle glycogen. Um, and that's really about it. I'm gonna go train in a little bit. Today I'm gonna to do like a you know nice six and a half, seven RPE, go for the pump, like chest, triceps, shoulders. 
Um, and then the goal is to see how I look tomorrow morning. But I'm just going to run a uh, quick circuit of uh, lower body, upper body, like three circuits back to back, just like five, just get some blood in the joints uh, and the muscles, whatnot, nothing crazy. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to check in tomorrow at Pure Focus or I'm just going to check in in the morning. Either way, I'll probably, it'll probably be easier if I just check in in the morning. But uh, tonight, I'm going to start shaving down a little bit. Uh, and then uh, Friday, I'll start tanning up. Friday evening, I'll start tanning up. So that's pretty much the goal here. I mentally feel a lot better after Tuesday where I was just completely and utterly drained. Um, and that's really about it. I mean, this has been by far, like I said, very, very simple, very, very clean, cut and dry, very little guesswork. Um, my body is responding how we want it to respond. I've been practicing my posing. I've been practicing my posing routine. Um, I just feel good, you know. I, I hope that I just, you know, don't get laughed off stage. But I can't, <laughs> I can't control that. That's my biggest fear. Is always I just, for some reason, like I'm not gonna pose well, or I get the reality check of like there's just these superior natural bodybuilders. I'm gonna get my head handed to me. Um, I don't think that's gonna be the case at all. But in the back of my head, I'm always like, okay, you know, do everything right, do everything right, do everything right, do everything right, do everything right. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, we're going to do the, another 200 grams of carbs today. The higher salts, higher creatine. Um, man, I, I wish I just... I don't know. I wish I had, like, a camera crew that could just follow me around during the entire day so you can see what my days are like. Um, in terms of, you know what? Here's something we can talk about. What carbohydrate sources am I using to carb up? Um, nothing special. Um, I'm pretty much using all whole food sources. You know, oats. Uh, bananas, uh, rice, things like that. No particular reason. Like, it's, it just, I just want to use whole food sources until we get to the show, and then I'll use sugar. Uh, I don't want to over sugar myself. I have a feeling. Uh, I always feel like when I over sugar myself. Um, not that I'm, uh, you know, against sugar as you know, but I feel like sometimes it tends to soften me up, or at least I feel like it softens me up. So been using that and then we've been focusing on just using plain Cheerios as another carbohydrate source so that'll be part of today and uh, that's it BCA is around six to eight grams creatine around ten um, and that's about it the day of the show I have some uh, Twix and some peanut butter cups I might even buy myself a bag of Sour Patch Kids for just something different because my coach wants low fat candy high sugar so I may just bring that into effect and uh, go from there. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. So, what's going on, everybody? I'm uh, it's getting close. I'm like 14, 15 hours away from stage. Sitting here on my couch, chilling, doing some work, um, watching some pumping iron. It's like a tradition of mine. And, uh, Finished out the day doing 300 grams of carbs, so I'm nervous, to be honest. Um, I don't think I spilled over, but just nervous with that amount of carbohydrates. So, as you know, Thursday I started carb up, I was 160.5. Um, actually, no, Wednesday I started carb up, 160.5. Thursday I woke up 169 after 250, did another 250 yesterday and Thursday. Woke up this morning, Friday at 160 and a half, and then went back and forth with the coach and decided to go with 300 for today. Sending progress pictures along the way to make sure that, um, you know, everything looks up to par, as you can see. Got a bunch of stain on me already, so that way I can just put the uh, dream tan over it. And that's really about it, guys. Tomorrow's game time, so I got to get up around 6, 6.30. 7 o'clock, I have about 20 grams of carbs. I've been instructed to do a 15-minute uh, pump-up se uh, session, followed by a quarter teaspoon, tablespoon, fried teaspoon. I have it written down, so don't worry about it. Of salt immediately after. Um, got all my bags packed, and then I'm going to get ready to head up over to uh, Brick Memorial High School for my show. So. Wish me the best of luck, guys. I hope you enjoy this whole um, week. I did a quick pump-up session earlier this morning. My little circuits of uh, 
you know, 15 reps for upper body, lower body, but nothing major. Just to drive the muscle glycogen in. And we're going to see what tomorrow brings. All right. See you tomorrow morning. So, morning of the show, everyone. I finished up with my 300 grams last night. And uh must say it paid off. I mean, I'm dry. I'm tight. Um, we actually upped carbs a little bit more this morning ahead of schedule to get a little extra carbohydrate in. I'm sipping on water. I'm just not going to chug it. Make sure that I get my muscles nice and hydrated. Um, this is the most awake and alive I've probably felt walking into a show. Usually I'm waiting for the carbohydrates and the caffeine that I'm going to get backstage, but I'm actually doing okay right now. Um, had two rice cakes and a cup of Cheerios this morning just to kind of start filling in the muscles. Uh, did about a 15 minute pump up with some resistance bands while I was at home just to drive the carbohydrates in. And now I'm about to head into the, um, the event. My coach actually, uh, I want to check in and then my coach wants some quick pictures so that he can decide what to do with my next meal. So it's show day, ladies and gentlemen, the culmination has arrived. Let's hope it all goes well. All right. I'll talk to you later.